Bravo's Real Housewives franchise follows the glamorous and drama-filled lives of over-the-top, fabulous women in major cities across the U.S., but since the show's inception in 2006, viewers have witnessed some brutally heavy storylines, featuring addiction, infidelity, family fallouts, and sadly, even death. I ran into the street screaming in hysterics. According to Screen Rant, one of the first tragedies to be featured on the reality series was the death of Russell Armstrong, who appeared on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills with his wife, Taylor. During their time on the show, the couple's relationship became a source of much of the drama of the early seasons, which involved a string of financial issues and allegations of abuse. Following the pair's eventual separation in 2011, Armstrong ultimately took his own life, and Taylor was left to pick up the pieces and raise their daughter, Kennedy. While Beverly Hills viewers were sent reeling with the Armstrong family fallout, fans of The Real Housewives of New York City had been busy following the heartbreaking love story of Jill Zarin and her husband, Bobby. In 2009, Bobby overcame a thyroid cancer diagnosis, but the disease returned four years later. He looks amazing, but recently we've been diagnosed with the spread of the disease. Bobby eventually succumbed to his illness in 2018 at the age of 71. Can you talk about Dennis? And yet another New York City star experienced a sudden death in 2018. Jill Zarin's former castmate Bethany Frankel was faced with her own tragedy when her then fiance Dennis Shields died at the age of 51 of a suspected overdose. She once posted a tribute to Dennis on Instagram, writing, You are gone, but never will be forgotten. You are missed. You are constantly quoted. You are one of a kind. You are eating multiple Nestle Crunch Bars, Sprites, and PJ Clark's double cheese cheeseburgers in heaven. Mommy, I love you more than life. I miss you so much. Deep Loss certainly wasn't limited to just one of the East Coast shows. On season eight of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, cameras rolled as Teresa Judice and her brother Joe Gorga grieved the emotional loss of their mother, Antonia, who died from pneumonia at 66 years old. Then, after clearly expressing his broken heart on the show, their father, Jacinto, died just a few years later in April 2020. While fans continue to share in Teresa and Joe's family memories, some losses have hit the younger set. Followers of the early seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta will remember when Candy Burris was engaged to her fiancé, Ashley A.J. Jewell. Shortly after he appeared on the show, the pair called it quits, but in 2009, A.J. was tragically killed during a fight in a strip club parking lot. I said, I love you, and then uh, I felt him just kind of leave. Another former lover, this time that of a Beverly Hills housewife, also met a tragic fate. Fans will remember the ex-husband of Kim Richards, Monty Brinson, who was suffering from cancer during the early seasons of the show. While the two exes ultimately became the best of friends, Brinson died in 2016 shortly after his stint on the series. But one of the most shocking losses of the franchise played out on camera. Season 10 of The Real Housewives of Orange County featured a scene that was difficult to watch when veteran cast member Vicki Gunvalson learned of her mother's death over the phone. Fans had come to love her mom, Joanne, and her sassy sense of humor throughout her many appearances on the show. My mother was perfect in my eyes. Yeah. Even though she was a pain in my butt sometimes, she was, she was perfect. Still, Orange County had already told the story of yet another difficult loss. Early on in the series, Gretchen Rossi's then-fiancé, Jeff Batesel, was fighting a battle with cancer, and as fans well know, Rossi received a wave of backlash from her fellow castmates for her behavior during his final months. Batesel ultimately died in 2008, leaving $2.5 million of his estate to Rossi. The widowed housewife then went on to find happiness and have a baby with none other than Orange County alum Slade Smiley. Never thought I had it in me to fight cancer. Now, I'm gonna beat cancer's ass. More recently, in September of 2021, fans of The Real Housewives of Atlanta were devastated to learn the news that Greg Leakes had died. Greg was the husband of veteran cast member Nene Leakes and was a prominent figure on the show. As Page Six reported, Greg died of colon cancer on September 1st at age 66. Confirming the news, a rep for the family stated, "...today the Leakes family is in deep pain with a broken heart. After a long battle with cancer, Greg Leakes has passed away peacefully in his home, surrounded by all of his children, very close loved ones and wife Nene Leakes. Paying tribute to Greg on Twitter, Andy Cohen wrote, I jokingly called him Pastor Leakes, but in truth, he was a strong voice of reason and commanded great respect among the entire Real Housewives of Atlanta team. I am sending love and strength to Nene and the entire Leakes family. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.